Hello, hello, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. And today I have a special video for you. The holiday season is just around the corner. So I have a holiday transition themed generative piece. So what I got is a snowman in a particles point cloud that transitions into a Christmas tree. And I got these models off of Turbo Squid and they were free. So I kind of just put in Christmas and chose free and um, chose what I wanted. And I can put this link in the caption below, but feel free to use any model you want. Just learning this technique of pretty much making any OBJ model into a, uh, converting into chops and then to tops and then being able to uh, control the point clouds, transitioning them in tops. And it's a really fun little um, technique that I'm personally quite in love with lately. So I'm excited to share this with you. And so as always, we'll start with a clean network and we'll add a file in SOP. The file in, you can select your model. So here is the snowman. And let's copy and paste this and add the tree. We'll first work with the snowman and then get back to the tree. We'll add a transition SOP because later on we will probably want to scale this down so to make sure they're both the same size. And we'll add a sprinkle SOP after this. And I want to have a little bit more, so I'm going to add this uh, rather than 1,000 points to be 10,000. Ooh. I'll add a null. I'll call this snowman particles. Very creative thing. And from here, I'll add a SOP to chop. So now we're into SOPs. Keep having position X, Y, and Z. And uh, yes, stop table to by name. Great. And I'll add a null after this. And then from here, since we now got it to chops, we're going to make it to tops. So let's see what happens if we make it to chop to tops. Okay. So now we have this line top two thing. <laughs> We're going to change the data format to be RGB. So, okay. And now we also want the image layout to be fit to square. And now we kind of have this like point cloud square thing. And from this one, we'll add a null. And you can see the size is 100 by 100. We're going to copy all this, all these steps and put it here. Uh, connect it to, connect it to the Christmas tree. Just this one. You can see that great, both of them are 100 by 100. So sometimes if you're going to use a different, different, different model, they might be a different size and you have to make sure it's the same size. And after this, I'm gonna just name this snowman. And I'll name this to be tree. Awesome. And between these two, I would want a sphere as a transition. And I know this, trans this sphere, I want it to be a polygon and the radius to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Um, I'm not gonna have the transition stop and just have the sprinkle and snowman. And copy and paste this and connect this. Oops. So, just do this one. So I want this snowman to transition to a sphere and then to this Christmas tree. Great. Awesome, double checking all the size of the point of these are the same. And then I will have a switch top. And select all three of these and then pipe it to the switch and turn blending between inputs on. Adding null after this. And I'll name this 
particle instance. Awesome. Then I'll add a geometry comp and I'll go into this geometry comp. I'll delete this torus and add a sphere. And I'll make this really small to 0 0.001. Let's start, try with that. Yeah, and make this polygon. Doesn't really matter, but. Um, I'll make this display and render on, and let's turn on instancing. On instancing, I'll turn this on, and I'll make this translate op over here, and have it R, G, B. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> let's see. Let's have a camera. And then also a render top. I'm gonna add a null after this and call this out just so we can see what's happening. I don't see it, what's happening? So the camera is being a little bit goofy. So let's put H for home and let's put a material. So let's put a constant material on this. You're starting to see it a little bit. I think it's a little part because they're still a little bit too small. So let's make this actually to be, let's see what happens if we put point, point zero 0.01 instead. Nice-ish, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe something like point zero 0.025 or zero point, zero, point zero zero 0.005, ooh. Point one, zero, point zero 0.01. I can do math. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that. Uh, I'm gonna play with some of. I'm gonna zero this out. Ah. Have this maybe a little bit oh, further out. And note that we haven't played with the transition yet. So let's make this a bit smaller. Let's have this to be point one. And. Make this camera a bit closer to B2. Ooh, that's why, I, okay, sorry. This is, these are the, the nuances where you have to play with all these little little parameters now. Now I want the particles to be smaller. So I'll be 0 0.001, I'll switch it back. Yeah, I like that more. And I'll have this camera to go a little bit more down, maybe even closer, one. Nope, too close. 1.5. And let's see if this, let's test the switch. So let's switch it to 1, 0, to 1, to 2. So something's going on once we switch. Doesn't like be on 2. Let's remember 2. The 2 is too big. So let's see what happens if we keep the two and have this to be 0 0.01. Starting to see the tree. Let's make it to 0 0.001. Ooh, now you see the tree. Maybe even smaller, 0 0.005. 0, 0, um, 0, oh, I like that. <laughs> So that's a good size for this model. So that's how you have to kind of play around. If you don't see the model, maybe make it smaller. And let's make it move a little bit. So in this geometry, in the rotate, I'm gonna put a abs time dot seconds. Hey there, sorry to pause the video, but I wanted to share something with you real quick. Right now you can get 50% off the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for touch designer professionals. We've got over 200 hours of video trainings and a private community where Matthew Reagan and myself answer your questions daily. We've also just launched the first mini degree program for interactive tech and immersive media professionals. If that sounds interesting, click the link in the description to learn more about the interactive and immersive HQ Pro and join for 50% off. Remember, offer ends November 29th. A bit too slow. So imagine let's do a frame and I'll half that so times 0.5. Cool. And let's 
cool. The particle's there. It's moving. But um, let's have it start transitioning through. And then we can start adding a little bit more details onto it. So let's first make an LFO drop. And this LFO, we can see it's going from negative 1 to 1. So let's add a map and change the range from negative 1 to be 0, 2, 2, because we want to go from 0 to 1, 0, 1, 2. So it'll be like 0. I want this actually be bigger. Let's make this to be, yeah, let's keep it to 1 to 1, actually. I shouldn't have changed it. 0, 2, wow. Like all the snow back to the tree. So zero two two, and add a null. It's going pretty fast, so let's make this frequency to be point two, point zero two five. Let's let's try that out. Make this viewer active and put in this index. We see the tree, and then it goes. A little bit slow. Let's make it. Let's see what happens if we make it point zero five. It's not here. Load. And then back to great. <laughs> great. I'm gonna show you how to do some little bit of make it to have a little bit more noise in this. Part of, in, while still in the particles. So I will add a noise huh? and make sure it's the same resolution, 100 by 100 size. And I'll have this to be 16-bit float. This is important. And I will have the harmonics to be zero and the harmonics game to be 0.5. These are things that we can play with a little bit later, but we'll have, for now, have the amp to be two and exponent to be three. Great. And after the switch and add a displace. Ah, displace. Uh, displace drop right here. And I'll make this displace weight to be 0.1. And I'll pipe this on a second input. Actually, I can have it to be like, I'm going to pause this LFO for now on just so you can kind of see what this will do. So you can play with this amplitude or this exponent, exponent, or um, yeah, exponent and these, and also the harmonic gain. Eh, maybe not the harmonic gain, but definitely the amplitude and exponent to make it. A little bit more snazzy, noisy, and you can add in other LFO on here to kind of have it constantly going from zero to two if you really want to. But I won't do that for now. Just showing you little more things I can add. So let's make this a bit nicer. Have a background, give it some color. I'm going to change this resolution to be a square. So have it to be 1,000 by 1,000. Add a ramp. Top. And I'll make this also 1,000. 1,000. And you choose whatever color you want the model to be. Um, I will want it to be a circular ramp and increase the period and I'll have it a maybe a bluish color yeah and I'll put a multiply maybe a bit lighter actually and I'll add another ramp it's just but this ramp I want it to be vertical and I'll make this a bit darker color. This darker blue. 
to a like a purple e um, light purple which appeared a bit okay. and I'll put a over top so this has the background Ooh, that blue is very bright so we get a little bit yeah I like that What happens if I make the camera? Or actually, I think I'll make the. Still gonna make the geometry, the sphere a little bit bigger. 0 0.002. Twice as big. And almost there. Finally, I wanna add some texture on this. So I'll add a noise top. And I'll have this again 1000 by 1000. And I'll change this to random. A level top. This level top, I'll change it opacity to be 0.1. And add this on top of this. You, you, beautiful. Look at that texture. <laughs> and feel free to also like move, change around. Maybe I actually want this not so big, but not so small, and have it. Well, let me try like point two. See how that looks. And that's pretty much it. We made a particle transition, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It was really fun making it, and I would love, uh, as always, would love to see what you guys make with this and make, use your own different three D models. And feel free to tag the interactive versus HQ and my own uh, own handle, and I'll put all that information in the caption below. Thank you. Hey folks, thanks for watching. As I mentioned earlier, you can get 50% off the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro right now. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for touch designer, immersive design, and creative technology professionals. We've got over 200 hours of video trainings, a private community where Matthew Reagan and myself answer your questions daily, as well as the first professional certification program for touch designer users. We've also just launched the first mini degree program for the interactive tech and immersive media industries. If that sounds interesting, click the link in the description to learn more about the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. 